Here's a new trend using the concepts of design to design your life. Bill Burnett is the executive director of Stanford's Life Design Law. There's who you are, there's what you believe, and there's what you do in the world. And if you can make a connection between these three things, if you can make that a coherent story, you will expe experience your life as meaningful. The increase in meaning making comes from connecting the dots. So we do two things. We ask people, write a work for you. What's your theory of work? Not the job you want, but why do you work? What's it for? What's work in service of? Once you have that, 250 words, then this one's a little harder to get short. What's the meaning of life? What's the big picture? Why are you here? The point is, if you can connect your life view and your work view in a coherent way, you can experience your life as meaningful. You can also explore not one, but three possibilities for your life. It's about having lots of ideas. So we say, let's have some ideas. We're going to ideate your future, but you can't ideate just one. You have to ideate three. Now, what happens when they do this is one, they realize, oh my gosh, I could actually have imagined three completely parallel lives. They're all pretty interesting. But a lot of times, the things that come up on the other plans were things that they left behind somehow. In the busyness of life, they forgot about those things. And so they bring them back and they put them in plan one. And they, make their, they make their lives even better. Sometimes they do pivot, but mostly they just use this as a method of ideating all the possible wonderful ways they could have a life. The next design concept is to build a prototype. Start small and try things. But in our model, the thing you do after you have ideas is you build a prototype. We have met people who've like quit their job and suddenly done something else. It hardly ever works. You kind of have to sneak up on it because uh, in our model, we want to set the bar really low, try stuff, have some success, do it again. So when we say prototype in our, in our language, what we mean is a way to ask an interesting question. What would it be like if I tried this? a way to expose the assumptions. Is this even the thing I want? Or is that just something I remember I wanted when I was 20? This is a fascinating concept. I think it would be great for college professors to have this as an assignment, to really think about designing your life and three possibilities and where are you really gonna go? You know? I, yeah, I can see that. I, as you get older in life, I think that you know much of what he says makes a lot of sense and I think people are already probably doing it without having putting pen sure. to paper. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do agree with you in that, you know, when you're in your early 20s and, yes. and late teens and you're thinking about what is it that I want to do and where is it that I want to go, mm -hmm. in terms of just opening up your brain to all those options, maybe it is good to get it pen to paper. Exactly. Yeah. yeah all right. Quite a concept, designing your life. <laughs> we wish you well. Yes.